because it is time for our eBay breaks. 2018 Top High Tech Baseball 6-Box Half Case Break number 22. First break of the new year, baby. Happy New Year, everybody. All right. As you can see, I'm a little excited. All right, let's put this on the screen. Yeah, I'm, 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 I'm actually, I'm kind of happy that Coach Gates got fired. I was not anticipating it. Uh, I actually kind of, I think highly of Coach Gates, to be honest. Uh, but hopefully, exactly. Hopefully, it's a, it's a nice snowball effect. Uh, I don't think Tannehill's going to get cut just yet. The, you know, we got to find a head coach first. I kind of, I kind of hope we get uh, the, the ex head coach for the Packers. Uh, not for nothing, you know. As far as the other candidates out there, no, nobody else is really, you know, screaming at me like, "Oh man, that's the that, that's that's the coach to get." Mike McCarthy, I think, is his name. I mean, he did pretty well for the Packers out there for a time, so would it would it be not would it be would it be bad to have him uh, here in Miami? But uh, the next thing that needs to happen, though, is we need a new general manager. Now that we got rid of Coach Gase, it's time to get rid of the general manager. So hopefully we can get rid of him. And uh, depending on our new head coach, he's going to evaluate Tannehill, and we'll go from there. I mean, there, there's nobody really in the draft that's you know that comes out to me. Kyler Murray, probably the best quarterback, but he's going to play baseball. Uh... After that, the next best quarterback is probably that kid in Clemson. But he's a freshman, so he's not coming out for at least another three years. Uh, Happy New Year's, j Maz. I don't think so, Thomas. I do not think so, my friend. There is this thing called a checklist, though. You might want to look that up. Yeah, uh, I, I, I apologize for my potty mouth here. But fuck Nick Saban. For what he did to the Dolphins, fuck Nick Saban forever. I apologize for any kids watching or listening. But uh, your Uncle Jesse, not a big fan of Nick Saban. If uh, me and him were, in, were, were, were stuck together, like on an island or something, uh, I would definitely eat Nick Saban to survive. I'm bigger than him too, so I'm pretty sure I'd win that fight. <laughs> Anyways, well, let's see what we got here. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we have. All right. There's two autos per box in this stuff. Goldschmidt, D-Bax, 99. Tommy Pham, Cardinals, 25. Dude, I'll never forgive Nick Saban for what he did to the Dolphins. Couldn't coach grown men, so he had to go coach uh, the boys over at Roll Tide. Yeah, no, no respect for that man at all. Anthony Rizzo, the Cubs, to 50. Whit Merrifield, Royals autograph. If I were the Roll Tide, I would be, you know, by, you know. Oh, man. I can't wait till we play Alabama again. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Hurricane fan. Clint Frazier, the Yankees, to 50 autograph there. Frazier, Yankees, to 150. I really, really think Manny Diaz is going to turn things around in Miami. And we're going to show Alabama who's who's the real boss when it comes to college football. Back to claim the throne, baby! You know, Coach Rick did as much as he could, but I'm glad he retired. His play calling and his, his the way he just managed the players was just terrible. Oh, no, Miami definitely needs a lot of work, you know, especially to catch up, you know, with uh, that whole scandal back in the early 2000s, the whole booster situation. We lost a bunch of scholarships. We almost got the death penalty, so I'm surprised we still, honestly, I'm surprised we still have a football program, uh, so there's that, but yeah, dude, we, we got a long way. We got, dude, we got like 15 years to catch up to Clemson and, and Alabama and Auburn and, and all these other big schools. So we, we definitely need uh, need some time there to get our recruiting up. But if we can continue to do what Coach Richt was doing, 
and focus on the, you know, the South Florida talent, which, you know, ends up going to Alabama and LSU and and teams like that, because, you know, the U sucks now. If we can get them back in Miami, we're going to be all right. Jose Ramirez, 7 of 10 for the Indians, very nice. Dude, I don't see I don't see Saban leaving anymore anytime soon. I don't see Saban leaving anytime soon. Godly D backs ninety nine. Why would you, dude? Bernie Williams Yankees to fifty. He's got like the perfect job out there. King Green of the Phillies to ninety nine. Justin Upton Angels autograph. Baseball is around the corner. Before you know it, it's March. Mejia Indians to 25. Dabo's leaving Clemson to go to Alabama? Is that what you're saying, Joe? Pettit Yankees to 150. That's like blasphemy. I would not leave Clemson to go to Alabama. Both programs are like up there. Oh, well, that would explain it. If Dabo's, Dabo's hometown is Alabama, then that, that would make sense then. But when you when I think of Clemson, I think of Dabo Sweeney. And, you know, and his antics uh, years past. That would suck for Clemson. But that would be awesome for the rest of the ACC because it would be wide open. Miami needs to take care of their of their of their stuff though. I like our head coach Manny Diaz. We gotta replace we gotta replace the defensive coordinator. I would love for the for for the Hurricanes to do something like reach out to the alumni, maybe get Ray Lewis, Ed Reed as a as like a consultant or something. Dude, could you imagine getting pregame motivational speeches from Ed Reed and Ray Lewis? Oh my God. That would be so amazing. Will Clark, one of ten for the Rangers. Have Ray Lewis be the defensive coordinator. Woo! That would be greatness. Dustin Fowler, the A's to 99. Acuna Jr. to 50 Braves. Lindor Indians, 99. Marcelo Zuna, the Cardinals, out of there. Keon Broxton Brewers to 99. Bagwell Astros to 150. It doesn't it doesn't even feel like 2019. But it is the first day of 2019. Before you know it, it's 2020. Oh boy. So Kean's dad. In your opinion, who do you think is the best available head coach out there? I, I read somewhere that the Dolphins reached out to the Patriots defensive coordinator uh, to see if he was interested in becoming a head coach. My first immediate thought is, why would you go for the defensive coordinator? Josh McDaniels, I can understand. Because he's the offensive coordinator and his offense is pretty freaking good. But the Patriots defensive coordinator, Patriots defense, last I checked, was not very good. When is the Rose Bowl, uh, Joe Pop? Is that today? Washington, Ohio State. I got to, you know, as much as it pains me to say this, and as much as I hate Ohio State and Tostitos, I'm going to go Ohio State. Mike Trout, 99 Angels. Garcia Parra, Red Sox to 50. Tyler Molly of the Reds to 25. Verdugo Dodgers, 99. Dustin Fowler, A's autograph. Well, Carja Russ and Ricky Warden, if I were both of y'all, if you were good boys, let's see what could happen. George Springer Astros to 99. Hopefully we can bring in the new year with y'all some hits. Mariners to 115. Edgar Martinez. Of course, we all know this is a gamble. Nothing is guaranteed. 
but let's see if I can do something other than put some coal in your stockings here. Two boxes left. Who is Fangio? Oh, the Rose Bowl's on right now? Well, that's nice. What happened last year, Keen's dad? Fangio is the Bears defensive coordinator. Ooh, that would be nice. That would be very nice. What channel is the Rose Bowl on? I'm about to put the old Direct TV on. Chris Bryant to 50 Cubs. Very nice. Austin Hayes Orioles to 50. Dominic Smith Mets 25. Mark McGuire Cardinals 99. Zach Godley. The D-backs autograph. It's on, it's on the old Espen. Francisco Lindor. I believe he's an Indian. I gotta look up the checklist. Ah, I got you, Keen's dad. Kind of, kind of like the same thing Manny Diaz did. Uh, the defensive coordinator for the Hurricanes took a job to be the Temple head coach, reneged on that, and is now the head coach for the, for the Hurricanes, which I'm assuming is just something that happens regularly. Dustin Fowler, A's to 150. You know, until you sign on that dotted line, you can pretty much do whatever you want. All right, last box of Mojo. Let's see what I can do for you. First, let me look up this Lindor. Although, I'm pretty sure it's an Indian. Just want to make sure. Very true, key is that. But you know, hopefully, he if, if we if he does decide to be a head coach, he'll bring you know his philosophies and intensity and so on and so forth. Because I I feel it's going to be a straight straight up rebuild in Miami. And we've been in we've been in a constant rebuild <laughs> for like the last twenty years. It's uh, kind of sad. Oh, this is Topps High Tech, not Bowman High Tech. I'm gonna find the checklist for this thing for that Lindor. Why is there no tops high tech? There it is. Chicka chicka wow wow. Alright, Lindor. Who you go to, sir? Lindor is indeed an Indian. Right. I just wanted to confirm that. There we go. The main thing with the Dolphins, though, we, we need a we need a new quarterback. It's really that simple. I'm pulling for Teddy Bridgewater, man. Hopefully, we can get Teddy Bridgewater. That's that's who I would like to be our quarterback. You know, keep Tannehill as a backup, cause he's he's a he's an okay quarterback. He'd be a great backup quarterback. Just keep the bench warm for Teddy Bridgewater. Beautiful. Stanton of the Yankees to ninety nine. The ground Mets to fifty. Correa Astros to twenty five. Merrifield Royals to ninety nine. Ooh. A base card auto for Bryce Harper. That's a good hit for the Phillies. That's a uh, pretty freaking good. Coach Harbaugh, I think he already said that he's not leaving uh, Michigan. I'm sorry, Bryce Harper's a national. I don't know why I said Phillies. Bryce Harper is a national. Sorry for the mistake. But he is a national. Players mess up. Players mess up. You know. I still got some uh, some liqueur from the night before. You know, so pardon me. Ooh, nice. Ozzy Albies, one of ten for the Braves. That's a really good hit right there. If you got the Braves, not a bad way to start the year right there. Very nice. Alright, 
Colfax Dodgers to 150. What's up, Aaron? Happy New Year, my dude. And that's going to do it for the break. All right, so let's recap this thing, shall we? So our lowest number parallels, we got Will Clark of the Rangers, 1 of 10, and Jose Ramirez of the Indians, 7 of 10. Autographs, we got Godly d Springer Astros to 99, Fowler A's, Broxton Brewers to 99, Ozuna Cardinals, Mejia Indians to 25, Upton Angels, Frazier Yankees to 50, Merrifield Royals. We got two redemptions, Bryce Harper of the Nationals, and Lindor of the Indians, and an Aussie Albies 1 of 10 autograph for the Braves. Pretty sweet, and that's going to do it for the break. Thank you very much, we'll get it out to you.